Welcome back to my channel, it's Jasmine. For those who are new, I'm a full-time nurse working in Ontario, Canada, but I also like to resell on the US and Canadian Poshmark app as well as eBay. For today's video, I just wanted to talk about or bring to light something that has come to my attention and that is um, brand-specific Poshmark closets. I think this is only currently in the States because I couldn't find the closets on the Canadian app. Um, but this is specifically for Levi's and free people. So I read a post on um, the Poshmark Facebook group, um, the Canadian one actually saying like, how will this affect us? There's a lot of discussion about um, whether or not they're being treated differently. So after reading a few articles and um, watching other YouTubers talk about this, number one, the first thing that Poshers are concerned about is that they're not using the USPS labels that the US closets get. Um, so that would be the $7.11 um, shipping costs. And they're sending things with like FedEx or like UPS. So people are wondering whether or not these closets are being treated a little bit differently. From what I've read, I've heard that they are still paying the 20%. And I think this is just the test run of seeing whether are not um, creating different uh, shipping prices will affect sales or um, affect like Poshmark as a whole. I know that having a flat shipping rate on Poshmark is one of the benefits that people sell on Poshmark for. Like, especially in Canada, it's a flat rate of $12.99. So if the brand specific closets were to come to Canada, it's actually better for us to have the flat shipping rate because like let's say from like Nova Scotia shipping to BC, like a package could cost like more than twenty dollars to ship. So twelve ninety nine is pretty reasonable. Um, it, it's just not as reasonable if you are selling something that's really lightweight, like a pair of earrings or jewelry that can fit like in a small envelope. Um, but I guess it kind of evens out overall for like heavier pieces and stuff like that. But I have heard that they are just trialing. Um, this idea of different shipping costs. And, um, some people are like this style because their closets are geared towards lighter things. But um, for the most part that I've read, people don't really like this because they like Poshmark over eBay because eBay, you have to calculate your own shipping rates and sometimes that's a hassle. So it's easier for people to just, you know, print out the label that they get and just ship out their packages. Another thing that I read was um, how this will affect um, people's closets and stuff like that. Especially, I was browsing um, both the Levi's and the Free People closets, and the prices are really cheap. Um, like Free People, Free People is really expensive, and Levi's can be pretty expensive as well. But their prices were like sixty percent off of their retail price. So I'm not sure what kind of items they're actually bringing to their Poshmark closets. I have heard and read that they are more like clearance items and this is just a way for them to get rid of, get rid of that stock. But um, it, the other issue is um, those that buy wholesale um, pallets and stuff from like free people. I think free people, free people actually has like kind of like an ambassador program or like the wholesale program where you can buy their wholesale products um, if you want to resell them. So those people are kind of upset because the prices that they're selling on their Poshmark closets is comparable to the prices that they kind of want to, um, it's comparable to the prices that they're purchasing these wholesale products. So they're competing with the actual free people store. So they're kind of seeing it's not as fair and they're kind of contemplating whether or not to continue um, buying these wholesale pallets. How this affects me as a seller, I probably won't pick up free people as often as I used to just because thrift stores in Canada, they mark up free people a lot. So unless I can buy it for pretty cheap, like less than $10, probably I might still pick it up maybe closer to like $5 mark and I might just only list them on my Canadian closet rather than on my US closet um, just because I don't want to compete with the actual free people store if all of their items are new with tags and are 60 to 70 percent off of the retail price then I feel like I won't be able to price my pieces appropriately to compete with pieces like that. Again this kind of applies to Levi's as well. I used to pick up a lot of 
I usually pick up Levi's denim jackets and their jeans, um, usually only from retail arbitrage, but if um, I'm buying these pieces at like a higher price point and I'm expecting a certain dollar amount and I'm not really competing with the items listed on the Levi's Poshmark closet, then I probably will only list them on my Canadian one and not on my US one. I think the items I have picked up from Levi's, I have only sold on the Canadian app anyways, so I think I'll just continue to list them on the Canadian site rather than the US site because like they're selling jeans for like 30 to $40 for some of them. Um, so I really can't compete with those kinds of prices. Some people believe that this will bring more traffic into Poshmark and kind of hope for more users and buyers. I don't think these closets have been active enough for us to really give a um, solid opinion yet. Um, again, I think like Poshmark is expanding, so they want to include bigger retailers because um, that will bring more traffic to the app as a whole. So I think that's what they're focusing on and they're trialing um, the idea of different shipping options. As a Canadian seller, since I have to use a third-party shipper um, to bring my items to the U.S., I don't really care about the shipping costs. And the only thing that I'm focusing on is the difference that it'll make for uh, the items I'm picking up and the price points that I want to pick um, these specific brands for. Yeah, I would love to hear your opinion and feel free to leave your comments below just so I know how other people feel about this. So that concludes today's video and today's topic. Um, yeah, I would love to hear your opinions as well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!